what does the research and your experience tell us in terms of comparing it to um, serotitis, um, Mediterranean fruit fly as we know? Yes, so Mediterranean fruit fly um, and the Batracera species are in many ways quite different. There are some similarities in that baits will um, be successful against both types of fly, both med fly and, and the Batracera species. Uh, but they have quite different lures, um, male, uh, male targeting lures, um, and so you have to have both types, right. one for medfly and one for the other species. Um, the Batracera species tend to be a lot more invasive, a bit, as you mentioned, a lot more aggressive. Uh, they fly longer distances um, and they uh, um, I seem to be more adaptable to ad uh, adapting to new climates and new fruit than medfly, and uh, it's it makes them a lot more difficult to to manage if they get a start on, and and that's one of the reasons we try to get to them before uh, they, the populations build up. So just just in terms of number of eggs, simple things like that. Yeah, the the medfly. The scientists say that they can produce somewhere about about 500 or so eggs in their lifetime, maybe right. 800. But the Bactrosera species are a lot more, a lot more than that, maybe 2,000 eggs Gosh, for Queensland fruit right. fly. Yeah. And Dorsalis or BD is pretty similar right. in many right. respects to Queensland fruit fly. And uh, so we've found with the Queensland fly is that from those 2,000 eggs, we can get over 800 mature flies. Right. And so you can show, you can see quite readily the um, the mathematics, mm. so of, the exponential of, potential. Mm.